new edition of Tuesday's News Pills. At the onset, I have to say that human race is passing through tough times, but as always, we know that we shall overcome. In today's day and age, there are innumerable ways to check out what is happening around the world and that too by the minutes and seconds. I try to bring a speck of positive light to you with my weekly news pills. However, certain unfortunate incidents get too tough to ignore. Before I get on with today's news pills, I request you to like, share, subscribe to my channel and put in your valuable comments. Your comments will be a guiding light in my endeavor. News Pill 1 Virgin Atlantic explores flying taxi partnership. Virgin Atlantic is exploring whether it could launch a flying taxi service as part of a partnership with Bristol based Vertical Aerospace. The airline suggests electrical vertical takeoff and landing vehicles, or they, they are even called EVTOL could fly from towns to major airports. Vertical Aerospace is conducting test flights of its aircraft this year. One expert said the proposal was less radical than those of other air taxi companies but argued there would be challenges ahead. Several companies have promoted the idea of autonomous flying taxis that could pick up passengers up from a rooftop in city centers and take them wherever they would like to go. Virgin Atlantic suggestion is slightly tamer. It has proposed that an EVTOL aircraft could pick people up from a city such as Cambridge and fly them to a major airport such as London Hetero. Vertical Aerospace says its VAX4 craft will be able to carry four passengers and a pilot up to 100 miles as well as being emission free and quieter than a helicopter. In fact, the company claims it will be near silent train cruising. It has already partnered with American Airlines and Avalon, an aircraft leasing company. With a 15 meter or 49 feet wingspan, the aircraft would have to fly to and from designated spots such as helipads or regional airports. But more lavish visuals of air taxis carrying passengers from one skyscraper to another would require new air traffic control technology, public acceptance of more aircraft in cities, improvements in automation and regulatory changes that could be a decade away. New spill 2. UK space race investment is heating up. A UK firm that was the world's first dedicated space technology investor is preparing to list fund shares on the London Stock Exchange. The public will be able to invest in a portfolio of new private space firms through Seraphim Capital's fund. The news comes amid a public consultation on establishing a UK national space strategy. The space industry is one of the UK's fastest growing sectors worth 14.8 billion pound a year. Seraphim Capital one of the world's leading investors in space is transferring all assets from its existing fund into the Seraphim Space Investment Trust. It is raising 150 million pounds to invest both in its existing portfolio of firms and in new space startups. In recent months, there has been increased interest in the satellite industry with Tech firms like SpaceX and London-based OneWeb launching small satellites known as nanosats into low Earth orbit. 
the plan is to use large constellations of nanosats to enable satellite internet as well as collecting Earth's observation data like weather, heat signatures and atmospheric gas composition to help farmers, for example, and to monitor things like flood defenses, traffic and construction sites. The idea is that nanosats will enable many similar firms to gain access and benefit from space technologies. New Spill 3 Disruption to shipping could delay Christmas orders. Disruption in the global container shipping industry shows no sign of being resolved quickly and could lead to shortages in the run-up to Christmas, say industry experts. An outbreak of COVID-19 in Guangdong province in southern China has caused acute congestion at the region's ports. As a result, shipments have been delayed, excavating tension within global supply chains. And the knock-on effect could take many months to resolve. The problem in Guangdong are just the latest in a series of severe setbacks for the industry. Shipping firms have been struggling to cope with dramatic fluctuations in demand triggered by the pandemic, as well as the consequences from the recent blockage of the Suez Canal. One of the biggest ports in China has basically closed down for close to three weeks. The growing crisis in southern China is just the latest blow to hit the shipping industry, which has been suffering from acute disruption for more than a year. For this reason, the disruption is expected to continue for at least another 12 months with consumers in Europe and Northern America continuing to face much longer rates than normal for their goods. For UK retailers, this raises the real prospect of a shortage of goods ahead of the Christmas shopping period. If you want to get something for your family for Christmas, start shopping now. That is all for today. Thank you and goodbye for now. Stay blessed. See you in my next Tuesday's episode.